Honest question here, Rockstar, if you're listening, do you not want us to have fun in your video game? Because it seems like you never do. It has been a couple of weeks since I've made a Rockstar Logic, and boy, oh boy, has Rockstar pulled out all the stops. There have been Rockstar Logic after Rockstar Logic after Rockstar Logic every other freaking day. The most recent was them removing the peyote plants from the game. There was no reason to remove the peyote plants from the game. For those who lived under a rock the last couple of weeks, if you ate a peyote plant in GTA Online, you would become an animal. Now this has been a thing in single player for forever, but it was hilarious in GTA Online. It made no sense, of course, but who cares? There's freaking flying bikes. Nothing in the damn game makes sense, but it was fun. You could be a bird and poop on people. You could be a dog and bite people. You could even become Sasquatch. I saw so much hijinks happen while the parody plants were out. And it was just a real fun thing to do every now and then to go find one, to search for them and become a freaking animal. It's just different. But then two days ago or three days ago, out of the blue, rocks are decide, you know what? These kids are having too much damn fun. We can't allow them to do that. And they removed them from the game with no warning whatsoever. It wasn't like snow and in some other events where they've come out and said, all right, it's only going to happen for the next couple of days or something. No, they just said nothing and removed them. So that is why I've come to the conclusion. Rockstar just does not want us to have fun in GTA Online. What's up, everyone? We're back, obviously. And uh, before we get into the rest of these, because we have some catching up to do. These are all some uh, some Rockstar Logics from the past couple of weeks. But if you have your own Rockstar Logic you want to submit for a future episode, you can tweet it with the hashtag Rockstar Logic, or you can post it in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy the video, I'd appreciate a like. But man, where do we even begin? Because, all right, you know what? Let's continue with the animals, because, man, there's some other things. That happened with them. I guess animals can use telescopes. That's all I'll say. And then another thing, granted, you can't see it anymore because they took the peyote plants out of the game. But did anyone notice that whenever you became an animal back when the animals were in the game, the sounds got amplified to like a thousand? Now, I guess maybe you could argue, well, animals have a heightened sense of, of hearing but, I mean, look, it's a game, all right? I don't want my freaking eardrums to be blown out by the damn sounds. And half the time, the sounds didn't even make sense. Like, walking down the street as a dog, there's like one car next to me, and I hear 18 different horns, a fire truck, eight freaking helicopters in the air. Where are they coming from? That's all I want to know. And then, I don't know if this is a, a modder who attacked me or something, but it was weird. I was going up to try and get Sasquatch and I got attacked by freaking clowns. Clowns attacked me. Maybe that's why they took animals out the game. They didn't even freaking work properly. But seriously, for the people that could argue that say the things I just mentioned are the reason they took animals out, they could have just fixed them or at least told us they're gonna fix them and then maybe brought them back or they could have done it way better is, is all I'm saying. But the animals are only the first part because one of the vehicles that was released this past week was the Lampadati Novak. Well, actually, I don't think a vehicle was released, but the Novak came out a week and a half ago. It's a new SUV and shocking. Some stuff's wrong with it. I'm sure no one's even noticed this because I'm sure no one even bought the damn vehicle, but you can't even unarm yourself in this SUV. In every other vehicle, when you're scrolling through your weapons, you have the unarm the, er, option, which you can flick off people. And that actually kind of helps if you don't want to break your windows, because then you can just flick off your window and the window gets rolled down. But in the Lampadati Novak, nope, you can't do that. So if you want your window rolled down, you got to punch through it. And then in classic rock star form, they messed up one of the liveries. The Lampadati, I think it's the racing livery with the turkey on it, 
Look at this one. It's facing forward. That makes sense, right? It looks logical. But let's go to the other side of the car. And shocking, it's facing the wrong way. You thought we were done. No, we're going back a little further. Remember the uh, the bike, the rampant rocket that was released a couple of weeks ago? I could say, and have a whole rocks of logic, on how the fact that it's a drag racing bike and it's slower than every other bike in the game, pretty much. But I'm not even going to go there because good old smart rock star, they decided this long boy of a bike would be perfect for your clubhouse. So naturally, what did I do? I filled up my whole clubhouse with 10 of them. And guess what happened next? When I drove in, I got trapped. I literally can't leave. I mean, well, I can leave, but like I can't move around. I have to get out or I have to get back on the bike, go out and then come back in. Whose genius idea was it to allow this to happen? And on that last point, I didn't mention it, but you can't call the ramp a rocket through your interaction menu as an MC club member. So for some reason, they're like, oh no, you spawn it instantly, uh-uh. But you know what? You can fill up your whole clubhouse and then get trapped. But it gets even worse because this is a three wheel bike, okay? So when you're on a normal bike and you're reversing, you have to use your freaking legs because you're gonna fall if you just go backwards, right? But on this bike, it's got two wheels in the back. So you could theoretically just go back. Like you don't need your legs, but your guy uses your legs anyway. But it gets even better because when you back up into the garage, he decides your legs are optional. <sighs> and then the final two Rockstar logics, going back to the alien mode. First off, what the hell Rockstar? Really, that's what you came up with? But secondly, this map in particular, look at this restrictive area. Literally half of the building is cut off and it's like five of them. That makes no sense. How can you put an alien survival in an area where there are buildings that the game wants you to go up on, but then it's like, but you can't access half of them. And then for those that didn't see this clip, when I posted it a couple weeks ago, th this is the alien survival rocks are decided to give us. And naturally, oh, this is classic. Freaking NPCs driving in a damn circle. We can't even go over there because it'll freaking say that you're leaving the zone. Man, ain't that something? Look, we can't even go get them. Oh, so it's been a couple of interesting weeks to say the least. Maybe Rockstar will get better. <laughs> but let's be honest, that's not going to happen. That is it with this week's episode of the Rockstar Logic. Again, if you have your own, you can submit them either in the comment section or on Twitter with the hashtag Rockstar Logic. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.